How long have you been working on the discussion section of your research paper? A month? Three months? Six months? And if it's still not finished, this video will show you exactly how I wrote the discussion section to my research paper in just 77 minutes, to be exact. It's a behind the scenes of a process that I never revealed before on YouTube. So the first thing that you need to understand in order to be able to write the discussion section for your research paper very quickly, very efficiently, to a very high quality, is what to put there, an approven structure. So I put that here in a couple of bullet points. First, you're gonna restate the key results. And the key here is just to restate the main result. A big issue that I see reading hundreds and hundreds of papers from PhD students and researchers as part of our consultancy services is that, you know, they keep on talking about the results. But remember, you've already presented the results. Now we're discussing them, right? So really restatement of the results should be as brief as possible, like 10% of the overall discussion. And then you want to compare it with the literature. And a big issue that I hear from a lot of PhD students and researchers that we work with is like, what literature do I compare it to? My study is really novel, completely unique, I don't have anything to compare it to. Well, you then have to look at the topic outside of your discipline. If, if this thing that you're doing has never truly been done ever, nothing similar, then you can look outside of your discipline. So, you know, if I'm, for example, talking about the discrimination of people of color, non-native speakers among course book authors in English language teaching? Well, if there are no studies on this, then I can compare it to the discrimination of women, people of color in other types of publishing, academic publishing, for example, right? So you just go slightly outside and you compare your studies. And then you want to provide explanation in two ways. You can explain why your results differ from those of other studies, right? So our study shows this, however, previous studies showed something completely different. Why? And then the second thing that you can explain is why you got the results that you got, right? So for example, in my case, about 80% of the course book authors in my study were white native speakers from the UK. Immediate question is like, why? How did we get to that place where, you know, only white native speakers from the UK are higher? You know, this is a very sort of unusual result, I suppose. So you want to provide explanation for it. And then interpretation, like well, what does all this kind of mean or suggest, right? Then you can make suggestions for future research based on your results as well. If we found this sort of discrimination, well then what should the publishers do to advance equality? And then you want to also talk about practical implications of your findings. So that's the first thing that you need to understand, like what's the structure and what to put in your discussion. And then the second thing that you want to have ready is notes on how you're going to discuss the results. So you can see I've got a bunch of bullet points in here. I made notes. It probably took me about two hours or so, or maybe an hour and a half to make these notes. And there's another video as well linked below where I show you how I arrived at these notes and a simple proven framework that you can use as well to find really good studies to discuss your own findings and how to generate those ideas for discussion. But you need those notes because otherwise, like if you're coming up with discussion ideas now while you're writing, this is going to take days or weeks because you'll be constantly interrupted from your writing flow. So with that in mind, let's dive in and let's get this discussion section written. Are you ready to implement these strategies to publish research papers in high impact journals in your discipline? Are you a professor, a researcher, or a PhD student who would really like to advance their career, make a really big contribution to the field by publishing more papers in better journals while actually working less and enjoying the whole process? Then I've got really good news for you. I've just opened some slots in my calendar and you can book a free one-to-one -one consultation with me where we'll dive deeper and 
identify the specific challenge and bottleneck that is blocking you from achieving your full potential. And then we'll also clarify your goals. And then at the end, I'll outline an action plan for you that will help you to achieve all your academic goals, publish more papers and advance your career. If this sounds like something that you want to do, book the free one to one consultation right now. The link is in the description of this video. What I really like to do in the discussion is to, as soon as possible, highlight the novelty or the main contribution of my study. I like to do that, if possible, in the very first sentence of the discussion. So that's what I'm doing here.
Are you ready to implement these strategies to publish research papers in high impact journals in your discipline? Are you a professor, a researcher or a PhD student who would really like to advance their career and make a really big contribution to the field by publishing more papers in better journals while actually working less and enjoying the whole process? Then I've got really good news for you. I've just opened some slots in my calendar and you can book a free one-to-one -one consultation with me where we'll dive deeper and identify the specific challenge and bottleneck that is blocking you from achieving your full potential and then we'll also clarify your goals and then at the end I'll outline an action plan for you that will help you to achieve all your academic goals publish more papers and advance your career if this sounds like something that you want to do book the free one-to-one -one consultation right now the link is in the description of this video Right, so that's it. The discussion finished, just over an hour of work. Pretty happy with it. Of course, it's not perfect. I still need to proofread it and check the flow, but it's good enough to call it a day. And the last thing to write here for this paper is the conclusion. Now that you know how to write the discussion section for your next research paper in just an hour, you can't be relying on these last minute sprints if you truly want to publish research papers regularly and become the go-to expert in your field. What you need is a proven time management system that will allow you to publish more papers while actually working less. And this next video shows you exactly how to achieve this.